There are very many mitzvot, many commandments in tomorrow's parasha, parashat Emor, but one sticks out, one really hits you between the eyes, because the parasha is a very uh, particularistic parasha. Um, many of the regulations apply only to the Jewish people, or in fact, perhaps only to a section of the Jewish people. Some only apply to priests, for example, or even only the, the high priest. Um, but certainly, a lot of it is concerned with the with the um, uh, ritual in the temple or the tabernacle, all the regulations about uh, sacrifices, the blemishes or lack of blemishes, which they could have in order to make them to be suitable to be brought as offerings to God in the tabernacle. Or there's a list of uh, festivals, uh, festivals which are unique to the Jewish people, Pesach, Shavuot, Sukkot, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, these are all uniquely Jewish festivals, uh, and we have many of the regulations concerning those festivals also in our parasha. So this seems to be a parasha about uh, living as a Jew in a in a internal Jewish sense. This is how the, the independent and distinct Jewish nation conducts its religious life. But then as I say you see a, a mitzvah which hits you between the eyes and it's the mitzvah which embodies the commandment that just as a Jewish sacrificial animal can have no blemish, the same is true of a animal brought by a non-Jew to be offered up by the uh, priests in the tabernacle or the temple. Well that tells you two things. First of all that offerings from all nations were welcome in the uh, tabernacle and the temple, that it was always envisaged that as the prophet says, he basically based that the temple was to be a place of prayer for all nations of the, of the earth, and second that there are no second-class citizens when it comes to a relationship with God. It would be impossible for us to say as religious Jews that a non-Jew's offering can somehow have lower standards or can be blemished when ours must be perfect. That uh, what's acceptable for, for, for them is not acceptable for us because we are on a higher level. The Torah says explicitly that's not the case. Just as our offerings must be perfect, so must their offerings also be perfect. We may have um, different commandments because there are Jews and there are non-Jews in the world. But our relationship with God is independent of any national or religious affiliation. All peoples can have a close, intimate, authentic relationship with God. All people can be holy, spiritual and uh, godly people. And that's why it would be absurd to exclude non-Jews from giving offerings in the temple or tabernacle. And might be absurd to allow them to have lower standards for the blemishes or or quality of the animal which they're bringing. This verse uh, teaches us that although we are a particularistic religion in many ways, in many aspects of our uh, practice, it is on a absolutely rock-solid foundation of a belief in the equality of all people and the concern that God has for all people and the ability of all people, whoever they may be, to, to reach God, to appeal to God, to be heard to God by God and to have a relationship with God. Um, I wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom and God bless and please be in touch with me or the shul if we could do anything to help you uh, during these challenging times. Shabbat Shalom.